Hello Grand Tour fans and welcome back to this channel. Clarkson, Hammond and May are back in the UK as we speak. But we received so much material about their journey and some things became clear during their travel. So we think we've got very nice information which is worth watching for the real fans. But first let's go back to the start to, of their trip in the Indian Ocean. As we told before, they ended up on Reunion Island, but we didn't know what they were going to do and what kind of transport they had there. These pictures reveal the cars which are waiting for the trio on La Réunion. We see a Caterham 7, a Bentley Continental GT and a Ford Focus. They spent some time on the island and they were spotted on several places around the island and at a cemetery at the border of the city of St. Paul. We wonder what could possibly be the reason for them to visit all three of them with their cars, including a film crew, at a cemetery. We studied the pictures closely and we saw James May standing next to a grave there also was a sign which was easy to read. It says La Buse, which means as much as the buzzard or the hawk. A search on the internet showed us this was the name of a famous French pilot born under the name Olivier Levasseur. And he was sentenced to death on the island by hanging in 1730. The story goes that on the day of his execution, on the gallows, with the rope around his neck, he had thrown a mysterious cryptogram to the crowd while shouting, Find my treasure, he who can. And even up till today, nobody solved that cryptogram. And the treasure, which nowadays have a value between 1 and 500 billion, has never been found. A few days later, the trio were seen on Madagascar and the cars were transformed totally. The focus was turned black with a sign on the door and a pirate flag on the roof. The pirate flag and the logo on the door, it seems to be the same logo as La Buse used on his journeys. Also the wheels were replaced by tracks. Studying the images shows us that this is the same focus as the one on Reunion Island. The Caterham had big wheels on the back and the fenders were adjusted. Also there were some big lights on the top of the window. Also the Caterham had still had the same license plates as on Reunion Island. Of the Bentley Continental we couldn't check the license plate and we couldn't see if it is the same car as on the Reunion. But it got a real big transition if it is the same car. Another color, bigger wheels, a roll cage, extended wheel arch and the spare wheel and some fuel cans on the roof. We were told they would be heading north to Mananara, but that turned out only partially true. They indeed drove the dangerous and treacherous RM5, but they didn't go as far north as Mananara. After about 120 miles, they left the RM5 and went to a ferry which brought them to St. Mary Island, which is about 6 kilometers east of Madagascar. St. Mary Island was the place where pirate Labuse used to have his hideout. We have the strong impression Clarkson, Hammond and May have been on a treasure hunt on the islands, but of course we don't know it for sure. We received various pictures and videos from the last part of their journey to St. Mary Island. Let's go and take a look at them.
follow the star chart. Take a right and follow the star chart. As you may have noticed, the only car missing is the Ford Focus. We got only one picture of the poor Ford, which shows it has lost its tracks and is to continue his road on normal wheels. We don't know if the Ford made it all the way. Traveling the RM5 must have been a hell for man and machine. We've seen comments from the crew saying, so far I have escaped unskated. But many of the team have had something close. First AD had been busy. Another comment came with a picture of the heavily battered cars of the crew. Not all of them made it to the end. Well, it maybe says enough. It turned out the Soanambo Hotel was the end of the destination of this adventure. And it was time for the presenters and the crew to relax a little bit in this beautiful tropical environment. Johan Leon somehow found out where the trio was and rushed more than 350 miles to meet Clarkson, Hammond and May. According to Johan, they were very kind and friendly to him and of course they made some pictures with him, as we can see here. And with that, we come, for now, to an end of this video and the adventures of Clarkson, Hammond and May in the Indian Ocean. Soon we'll be back with another news video, so like, share, subscribe to this channel and stay informed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.